Prime Minister Mitchell says the OECS must unite to support Dominica. Prime Minister, we are going to be there for you. We are going to be there for the people of Dominica because you are in fact there for us. This story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Rena Pierre. On Friday, October 9th, Grenada's Prime Minister and the Chairman of the OECS, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, visited Dominica to show support following the devastation of Tropical Storm Erica. Dr. Mitchell, accompanied by Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules, was given a tour of the western part of the ravaged island. More details from Rikisha St. Louis. During a press conference held following the tour, Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt conveyed appreciation to Grenadians for their continued support to his people in Dominica. He reminisced on a strong tie that has always existed between both islands. The self-mobilization of the Grenadian people. You know, there has always been a very um, strong bond of friendship and, and, and special love between Dominica and Grenada. And, and the people of Grenada demonstrated that after the passage of across America and they continue to do so. I really want to thank public and be for the people of Dominic, um, the, the generosity of the Prime Minister and the people of Grenada um, during these difficult times. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Mitchell reminded the gathering that Grenada understands what Dominica is now going through, having been ravaged by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. He said now is the time when all OECS countries must unite and support Dominica. But when there is a period of hurt and pain, we all share it. It cannot be the Labour Party or the other party that, that is being hurt. Every single person, every single child, woman and man will feel the pain. And, and I is in fact feeling the pain that exists at this particular time. Grenada will stage a solidarity fundraising concert for Dominica on November 7th. Prime Minister Skerritt has been invited to attend. For National Report, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Health Minister the Honorable Nicholas Steele says the government is working diligently to revive the health system. Speaking last Thursday at the Constituency Forum in Northeast St. George, Steele says that the government inherited a system that was completely shut down, which needed urgent attention. He indicated that bills have now been paid, medication are once again available, and the general hospital is being enhanced. I welcome the complaints about the service being given but the way that they were being spoken to and the length of time it may have taken to get attention at the hospital because that is a far cry from the complaints of no basic medication like aspirin. That is a far cry from all of the pharmaceutical companies in writing saying to the government then they will no longer supply a single bit of medication until the bills are paid. Those bills have been paid. Medication is now in the hospital. <laughs> Doctor's lounge has been repaired and renovated. Minister still dismissed recent claims by the National Democratic Congress of deplorable condition at the General Hospital. This, he says, is very offensive to workers who cried out loudly about the deplorable system between 2008 and 2013. So within the next couple of days, I will release to the press some of the internal communication and memos between the hospital workers, senior individuals in the hospital begging the minister then, begging the then government to give the necessary attention. So the doctors are extremely offended when they know for a fact that there are more doctors now in the system. The health minister also says that the training of doctors was ignored by the NDC government and that the five recently sent to study in Cuba is part of its succession plans with senior doctors retiring in the next three years. He assures the nation that the government is building back the health system. This is the National Report. We'll be right back after the break. On the decline, unemployment, national debt, unpaid claims, and the deficit. On the rise, revenue, GDP, economic growth, and tourism receipts. 
and the rhythm of government and people involvement continues. This Tuesday, the Prime Minister's Constituency Forum, Round 3, heads for South St. George. The Khalees Government School comes alive from 6 p.m. in an ideas marketplace as people proudly contribute to development. It is an established fact that there is a high correlation between telecommunications and the gross domestic product of a country. That's according to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell during Digicel's 12th anniversary celebration on Saturday. Dr. Mitchell says that is why it becomes necessary for the OECS to embark on the liberalization of the telecommunication network. He says though there were many attempts to cease the process, including much talked about loss of jobs, the OECS succeeded and to date, Grenada has been reaping the benefits. Digicel came on stream and I think we saw, we now seeing the tremendous benefit of having Digicel as a service provider. Dr. Mitchell is adamant that monopolistic services is not healthy for any growing economy. He says a competitive market promotes better prices, services and customer satisfaction. Competition drives people. Competition makes us want to improve our service. The consumer benefits in more ways than one. And this has been the National Report. I am Rena Pierre. Thank you for joining us.